So a little intuitive astrology advice, suggestion, chat, because uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make this one into a full video. But uh, Mars is in Aries and Jupiter's in Aries and Saturn went retrograde in Aquarius. And Aquarius is like, you know, big, big changes, like collective energy, community, um, something that's going to like benefit us all in some way. And then we have Aries, which is kind of like the baby, a little self-serving. Uh, impulsive, compulsive, but can break through something, start new things, initiate new things. And Jupiter, which is the teacher, right? Jupiter is a teacher planet. Also, the uh, it's the planet of the guru. That's why I say that. But it's also a planet of expansion. It makes everything so much bigger. Um, and then we have Mars and Aries. Mars, which is like sex, which is like diligence work. Like It's like, can be really fiery. It's arguments. It's how people fight. Um, and if you're not already Mars Aries and maybe you're not rocking with this energy, I'm a Mars cap. Like, I'm like, what am I doing? Something upset me the other day and I had like a three hour conversation about it. It's like, and I was like, what is going on? What is going on? And I looked it up and I realized exactly what I already knew that I just forgot. Mars is in Aries. But with Jupiter and Mars both in Aries, it's a chance for us to learn. Like, what really upsets us? How can we manage our feelings? How can we manage our emotions and take care of ourselves in these situations? And how does it better the greater good when we tie it into Saturn retrograde in, in uh, Aquarius? Saturn retrograde is remembering and recalling your goals, the things that you've been slacking off about. Yes, I know. Listen, I'm a Pisces rising. I don't want to do shit. I don't want you to do shit. I'm telling everybody to quit their job. I've been doing that since I was a teenager. I've been telling everyone to quit their job since they were a teenager. I am low-key always working on finding ways to like do shit, nothing and make money, okay? But like the reality of it is that there is something happening right now. Your goals don't have to do with capitalism. They don't have to be about that. It could just be that you wanted to, you know, learn a new hobby or begin something or um, you've been working on something that really matters to you, but you just haven't had the motivation to see it through. This is the time. So while you're also redirecting your energy, so you're seeing like this stuff uh annoys me this stuff gets in my way this stuff blows up out of proportion how can you let's say like you don't want to just walk away let's say it's a situation where you're just like okay i don't want to like necessarily all or nothing this situation right we don't have to have black and white thinking it might just bring up stuff about what you need to be more mindful of that are your triggers and take responsibility for your behavior so that you don't expend that energy in places and situations that are going to draw you away from your goals. If you're in a relationship with somebody and you want that relationship to work, but you're blowing up about every little thing, that's not what's going to help you. But if you feel like you're not being respected and appreciated, maybe you need to take some space and figure out what that is, how to speak your needs and make your boundaries. Okay, if it's about work and you're like, okay, I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to get out of here. Is that really your, what's your goal? You want to be an entrepreneur. You want to set up things for yourself in a certain way where you could take that time away from it and not make money right away. You want to save up. You want to get ready. Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes that's what it is. You have to be realistic. So this isn't about like all or nothing. This is about don't toss everything. Just just acknowledge what it is that you need, what it is that you're trying to do, the big, the big picture. And then notice where you're dispersing your energy in the little ways, okay? Ugh, and God save us all with this. Like I can't do like Mars and Aries right now okay like I can't if you know how to deal with that hit me up also of course intuitive counseling for everyone who needs it and for pride month I'm doing 50% off of consultations for queer and trans two-spirit BIPOC so please reach out